practice yesterday, after having practice yesterday, head to South Carolina, bus up there, play tomorrow night. Our guys, I think, are excited to play. We, we're definitely excited to get back on the court against South Carolina. At least I know I am, because we've got to play a lot better than what we did, and I know it'll be a tough environment, tough atmosphere, and uh, they'll be in a good mood after coming off their tough loss Saturday. So it, 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 uh, it's always tough when you play South Carolina, but it's what we want to go get measured against right now. So we, 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 we're improving. I think we're getting better. I think we're learning, and now we get a chance to go on the road again before we come back for two in a row at home. Well, coming off two wins, how much better do you feel going into this game against Carolina this time as opposed to the last time y'all played them? Well, we, we did not. This is a – there's got to be a level of, in, of, of individual determination in this game, too, because there's really nobody that played well against South Carolina the mm -hmm. first time in the sense of getting into the fight and being in the mix, and, and they took advantage of it. And, and – uh, we did not respond to the physicality of the game. We didn't cut. Uh, we didn't rebound the way that we needed to. We didn't move the ball the way that we needed to. We did, and, and we lost our uh, we lost our way a little bit in that game when it came to fighting back. And so, like that's that's what it is more than anything else. I mean, we've got to go in there. Home road doesn't make a difference. You've got to go in there and know that you've got to have some toughness, and you you're going to have to match their energy, and that we're going to have to be ready for the physicality. And we've got to play. And there's certainly there'll be adjustments that we make from the game. But it's really a more about a mindset than it is about anything X and O wise. So uh, hopefully we should feel better. You know, we've had, we've had two different wins, right? One that we had to come from behind on, one that we continued to keep the lead on. Uh, but two SEC wins. And, and uh, we should feel good about getting better, but we should be even hungrier about what we have a chance to go do. Tom, can you share with us the words you had for Tyree on the court after his shot? Uh, more or less, I'm just very proud of him and uh, persevering, and I think that's what it is more than anything else. And uh, We had a conversation after the Florida game um, where it, it was not a great night. We lost the lead, those type of things, and my big reminder was there's a lot of basketball left. There's a lot of shots left in you, and uh, it was one of those type of things, and he works very, very hard. He works very hard. He, um, he continues to, to get better. And uh, it, was very, it was great for him to have that moment. But I think it was, a, it was also that's why you stick with it. So in a nutshell, that's really what it is. That's why you persevere. That's why you stick with it. That's why you keep believing. That's why you don't give in, you know, when it doesn't seem obvious that everything's good. Just keep going and, you know, remind him that that's a lesson he'll have the rest of his life. Now that you've gotten two straight wins, you know, number one for a young team, what does that do for their confidence? And when you've struggled through much of SEC play, kind of what do you have to do to make sure a young team sort of manages success? Well, we've had so many different games. I mean, it's, 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 it's not hard to manage success when you've got to go play South Carolina. I mean, it's, it's all about, you know, we've got to be ready for this, especially since we just played them, right? I mean, we've got to be uh, excited about this opportunity, but it's going to be very, very hard. We've got to be very locked in. But you do it with more confidence. There's no doubt about that. But we've had so many games that could have gone either way. I mean, you, you, we, we, there's possessions, two possessions in this game, one possession in that game, three possessions in this game, all of a sudden the record is completely different, right? And that's the way that it is. And it's probably a lot of different teams that can say that. But there's no question we can say that. So we just have to keep doing something about what we can control, which is our improvement, which is our mindset. What is working and why is it working? You know, what, what is that? And there's a mindset to it. There's a belief to it. Uh, there's a determination to it, but there's also a skill package. There's an X and O part of it. There's the other day, I mean, young teams right away think, okay, we got to get a three. No, no, we got to score a basket. You know, when we were down five, 22 seconds left, 17 seconds left, whatever it was. It's not about the three. It's about the basket. Or it's about getting to the foul line. And I thought in that game, Sabir's drive and then Sabir's two free throws were humongous in what that allowed us to do at the end. Now, you know, they missed some free throws, but... The bottom line is we were in position to win when that time came because other guys did their job leading up to that, even in a short period of time. So getting a team to understand just how long a game is and how you can stretch a game, you know, how you wanna how you wanna lengthen the game or how you wanna shorten the game, depending on where you're at, and getting them to understand, like I've said so many times lately, that the hardest thing for them is the time and score. And so I say that because they're learning more and more about that. And so hopefully that helps you as you go into your next endeavor, which is tomorrow night. And uh, needs just four more points, and he'll be number two all time on Georgia's freshman list. I didn't uh, know that. Yeah, as much. Uh, maybe What's his points total? Uh, 500 and okay. something, 551. Okay. 511. 511. Yeah, okay. close. Uh, but anyway, my, my point on that is uh, as much criticism and, and magnifying glass this kid has been under, he's really 
Do you think he stood up to it all? And, yeah. and, and I'll and, tell you what. This is I'm way different than what I used to be. I, I don't really even know what's said. I read so little. I'm serious. I read so little because it doesn't. It doesn't do. I, I, I'm trying to coach him every day, just like every other one of those guys. And anytime we said this back in the summer, when you come in with the expectation level, when you come in with the ranking that he has, there is nowhere to go but down from that. Right? It wasn't like he was going up from that. He's the only one, maybe James Wiseman would have been the other, and then James Wiseman didn't play, right? They're the only two in the country that could have that said about them that I can remember, right, when it comes to college freshmen coming in. So we were never going we to base his season or career on it going down. We were going to base it on how much better he could get, and he's gotten a lot better. But, there's a lot, but he had a lot to get better at, as he still does. And, and we have a very short window in his life to help him do that. And uh, I don't look at it like I don't look at it like what he's not doing. I look at like what he's learning, what he's got to do better, what he can do, and how good he can be as we go down the line. And the biggest thing right now is making sure that we're controlling everything that we can control every day to make sure that his energy is good, to make sure that, that he is getting better, that his confidence is high, that he does understand how to read different situations, and that when it comes time for game time, that, that he can be at his very best, just like the rest of them. But I truly look at it like that. I mean, there'll be time at the end of the season to go back and look through it. But right now, our whole basis is how do we keep getting him better and better? Getting back to that first South Carolina game, how much did that, in, in some way, maybe light a fire on your guys? Again? We're going to find out. Yeah. We're going to find out. I hope so. I mean, that's – I hope so. I mean, it, our inconsistencies have been abundant this year. I mean, that's pretty obvious. And uh, uh, that, that's, that's not a coaching – that's not a coaching decision is that – drive you. We did not play well, right? No, we did not play well at all because we didn't play tough enough. One that we didn't play hard enough, we didn't play tough enough, and we didn't play physical enough. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I think we always play hard, but hard and physical, hard and tough are two different things, mm -hmm. right? And, and we have to continue to learn and understand that. But uh, we know we're going to get their best shot. I mean, we know that. I mean, they're, they're playing for a lot. They're coming off a tough game, and we would get it anyways, right? That's just mm -hmm. how Frank and Chuck and all those guys are built. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I hope we're as excited. I know I am, so I hope I hope we are. When you talk about Tyree uh, persevering, he went from a starter to uh, coming off the bench and maybe seeing his minutes uh, go down. Uh, what's been the key for him in terms of what have you tried to coach him? I don't view him as a guy coming off. There's there's certain guys on the team like I didn't view Jordan as a guy coming off the bench when he was coming off the bench. I didn't view Severe as a guy coming off the bench. I think you have a main playing group, and then there's others, right? But you should have a playing group that you should feel comfortable starting at any point in time, and. I would put Tyree in that point. Now, there's some other guys that I would say, okay, they're, they're substitutes on the team, right? But they're also key figures on the team. But I think it says a lot about coming back day after day and working to get better and, and not losing your confidence, uh, not having your pride hurt, but, but being hungry, right? And, and, and uh, that's what he's been, and that's what he's been, and I think that's why uh, a shot like that you know, goes down. He's shooting the ball better, especially the last five games. You know, those kind of things happen. And, and play freer, right? Play freer. Don't worry about what's not happening. Do your very best. And it's not, hey, I'm not making shots. We'll move better without the ball. Get looser. Be ready to shoot a little bit quicker. Okay? Cut a little harder. Cut more through the lane. You know, those type of things. Don't focus, on, and then especially with anybody, but especially what more can you do defensively, what more can you do on the glass when, when you want to score, right? Because the more you're locked into defense and rebounding, as unfun as those things sounds for guys, those are the things that change the offense. They really are. Look at Jordan Harris, I mean, against Auburn. He did not have a great offensive game, but, man, he had a fantastic defensive game. And all of a sudden, he makes a big three at the end of the game. It's just amazing how that works. I mean, it's, it's all, that, 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 that adage is a lot older than any of us combined. I mean, that's basketball, right? That's basketball, however long basketball has been here. It's always about what you focus on, all right, that you can control that help you get what you really want. And, and um, um, there's very few guys that walk out and say, I'm going to get X amount of points that actually get them. But when they go into the game and they're free and they're active and they're worried about the other things, it's amazing how that ball finds you because the ball usually finds energy.